I love my life. 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 No, no. Hey guys, it's your girl Traveling RM Kimmy here and in this video I'm going to go over my monthly budget as I promised. I want to go over every every two weeks I'm going to be going over my paychecks because I'm all about pay transparency. I feel like it's definitely necessary for those of you who don't know how much a nurse gets paid. Um, I'm here to deliver that information for you and then I'll go over what how I spend um, each paycheck. So. For my most current paycheck, I got paid on May 10th and I had budgeted um, in my, I had budgeted for $2,000 because that's around how much I get when I don't pick up overtime. And on this paycheck, as you can see, I made $2,026. I only worked 72 hours, 12 of those was actually um, with is also including 12 hours of PTO. So I don't know if, if you, you see my previous video, you probably know that I'm trying to get debt free and I, my plan is to work overtime as much as I can. But the last two weeks we have been, our census in for the, as, as far as the amount of babies we've had in the NICU has been really low. So unfortunately I have not been able to pick up overtime these last two weeks and even this week has been like super slow um they even and i did pick up one day of c day we call it which is just cancel day pretty much they told me not to come in because they were overstaffed and did not have a lot of babies we have only 11 babies in the unit right now which is not normal um especially around this time but like I said, the census have been low. My plan is when I can pick up overtime, I will pick up overtime. So we will see. Every day is different. The last day I worked, they had five admissions. And honestly, unless we're like 20 babies in, they don't really offer overtime. So we shall see what happens. But like I said, plan is to pick up overtime. But... um. If you don't already know, I am a NICU nurse. I get $42 an hour, and my average paycheck is around $2,000. I work 72 hours in two weeks, and and then every two weeks, I pretty much go um, budget accordingly so I can pay. I, I don't pay my bills a month ahead, but more like two weeks ahead if that makes sense so at the last paycheck for the month i use for the bills for the next month and then the first paycheck of that month i use for the bills of that month so currently all my bills are currently paid um because of the first paycheck for the month of may so on this paycheck as you can see i have paid my car note which is 822 dollars uh, the phone bill, which is $65, my gym membership, which is $24, and um, the mom part, I kind of leave that, I don't really cross it out because it really is a hit or miss whether or not we um, we order food. So um, based on this and paying off my bills, I was able to put $600 towards my maternity leave. Um, recap for those of you who don't know, maternity leave is not really offered. Well, not really, it is not offered. Um, paid maternity leave is not offered at my hospital. What I do qualify for is sick leave. Um, no, not even sick leave, it's called short term disability. There you go. Um, they offer short term disability and it is about 60% of your pay, but no more than $500. So in a two weeks period, I can only make 
a thousand dollars and that's before taxes so my calculations is that when i do go on maternity leave i will most likely only get about 600 to 700 dollars after they take taxes out and my benefits and everything so my goal for the next couple of weeks until i go on maternity leave is to save nine thousand nine hundred dollars because my average bills for the month is 3300 so that's my goal so after adding the six hundred dollars um i am at one thousand nine hundred dollars total and we will continue on this journey of saving towards this maternity leave and once i hit that nine thousand nine hundred any money extra that i have after that goes towards paying off my debt my goal is to become debt free financially free from all of the chaos um no longer going to be purchasing any new cars or um getting any new credit cards i did on my last video pay off my victoria credit card and i closed that account and now i only have two credit cards left so that is where we are at um i will be making another video coming up soon because definitely want to tell you guys what it's like being pregnant in the NICU um it's definitely has changed my opinion about delivery my expectations um and what I've witnessed <laughs> so I definitely want to go over that with you guys so stay tuned for that video um and like i said every two weeks i will be making a paycheck update so you guys can see how much money i'm making any adjustments and how i'm saving and paying off bills thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one have a wonderful and blessed day